In this video, I'll show you how to create a thickness map for your model to do some analysis with, as well as how to then uh, export and overlay that color map onto your model so that if you were to print it out, you can actually print it out with the colored map so you can see the visual representation of the thickness values on your model. So to start, I'll go to the Analyze menu and choose Create Wall Thickness Analysis. So I'll make sure that the entity that I want to do the analysis on is in this field here. And then I'll set the maximum wall thickness for my analysis. And so I'd recommend you know, setting this relatively high if you want to include all the elements because any elements that are above this value uh, won't be included in your analysis. Um, unless you, so unless you're trying to uh, you know, only look at elements within a certain, below a certain threshold, I would set this relatively high. If you don't set it high enough, you can always update it afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and let this calculate. So once that's done calculating, we can click here on the Properties tab to view the results. So here we have uh, our minimum and maximum value that we set. So this below that is the uh, 25th percentile value, the median thickness value, and then the 75th percentile value. And below that is the mean or average thickness value. And this is a weighted calculation, so it takes into account the triangle sizes. Um, Next is the standard deviation, and then lastly is the root mean squared value. And below that is our histogram. And so what I think it's doing is calculating like the 95th or 98th percentile and setting that to the histogram maximum. So I'm just going to change that back up to 10. Below that is our element distribution. So this is the number of elements that are below uh, the minimum value of our histogram range. This is the number of elements between our minimum and maximum values and then this is the number of uh, elements above our maximum values so with that zero you can you know I'm capturing and representing all of the elements uh, and then down here you can see the a visual representation of the histogram so if you do want to see maybe the thickness value of a very specific point uh, you can go to the analyze menu and do measure analysis locally and then you can move your cursor around and uh, get values for very specific points. Uh, next, if you'd like to uh, export out this color map and print your model with this uh, overlaid onto your, your skull, you can do so by going to the Analyze menu and choosing Segmentation. So this tool uh, will bring up uh, some more parameters here that you can set. So the number of bands is how many, basically how many different colors you'll be using to represent the different ranges of thickness values. So here you can see uh, the green is, you know, all of the lower values and then the orange is kind of in the middle and then red is higher. So if you want to increase the number of bands, you can do so. So let me just set this to maybe something like 10 and then hit enter. And you can see it, it looks more like our, our original thickness map as you increase the number of bands. And you can also drag these sliders if you want to increase the range for each individual band. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And so this tool is actually going to separate out our skull into a, a separate surface for each of these bands that we selected. So once that's done calculating, I'll cancel out of that. And then I'll hit this uh, plus icon to expand our scene tree. And I'm just going to hide, the, right click and hide the analysis so we can visualize the surfaces that it split it into, like so. So you can see there's a, a separate surface for each of these bands that we selected. And now if, if you have a printer that can print these kind of models, uh, what you'll do lastly is go to File, Export, ZPR, choose the entity that you want to export, make sure the face split option is set to bisurfaced, so make sure it splits each face 
uh, according to what surface that triangle is on, and then just hit apply. And now we have our file exported and ready for printing.